Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is skin abscesses. What is skin abscess? You know, a skin abscess, which is also co called as a boil, is a bump uh, which appears uh, within or below the skin surface, you know. And this bump is usually full of pus or maybe fluid you know and it is typically due to bacterial infection and uh, it may appear on any part of the body you know uh, and uh, but the most commonly develop on the back on the face on the chest or the buttocks you know and uh, they can appear in the areas of the hair growth such as the underarms and groins you know and the most skin abscesses are harmless and they may go away without any treatment, you know. And over the counter medications can help to improve the heal, healing process, you know, in case of minor abscesses. And sometimes uh, uh, they are difficult to treat, you know, and may require like uh, drainage, you know, or respiration of that pus, you know, from that uh, boil, you know. And uh, but there are cases in which uh, an abscess can lead to serious and potentially life-threatening complications if it's left untreated, you know. And the common causes are like bacterial infections and uh, infected hair follicles or maybe, uh, you know, uh, you know, the uh, staphylococcus is the most common type of bacteria which cause the skin abscesses, you know. And uh, uh, a skin abscess can be a result of bacterial infection that occurs in the Staphylococcus uh, aureus, you know, bacteria. Enter the body through the hair follicles or through the wound or the injury that has punctured or broken the skin, you know. And you are at an increased risk of bacterial infection if you have close contact with the infected individual or maybe diabetes or chronic skin diseases or maybe weakened immune system, you know. And, uh, you know, an abscess uh, often appears as a bump on skin, similar to the pimple, you know. <clears throat> but it can grow over the time and resemble a cyst filled uh, with fluid, you know. And uh, depending on the cause of the abscess, other symptoms may uh, include uh, like fever which is a sign of um, uh, infection you know maybe nausea maybe uh, chills maybe swelling maybe inflamed skin you know and fluid uh, uh, drainage from the abscess you know and the area around the abscess may feel painful and uh, warm to touch you know and maybe um, pink color or maybe reddish you know uh, You know, the small, uh, one small boil is not usually is, uh, something to be concerned about, you know, but uh, you can often treat these abscesses at home, you know. And if you have uh, a boil and any of the, uh, like, uh, if you have a boil and uh, you are uh, a child or you are over the age of 65, or if you have weakened immune system, uh, or you have received the organ transplant, you know, or uh, your skin abscesses uh, uh, on your face or on the spine, you know. Uh, in that case, you should consult the doctor because uh, this can cause the, uh, it may spread to the brain and the spinal cord, you know. It can cause a life-threatening situation. So if uh, uh, these are the conditions, you should consult your doctor or, uh, straight away, you know. And... Uh, the abscess, if the abscess is large, you know, then you should consult the doctor. And uh, if the abscess is becoming more painful or throbbing, you know, or if the limbs are swollen, you know. So these are the cases where you should, you should consult your doctor, you know. And uh, your doctor will review your medical history. He will perform the physical examination and he may order some blood tests, you know, uh, to see what type of infection is there, you know. So then he will uh, be able to treat them uh, accordingly, you know, if there is bacterial infection, he will prescribe you the antibiotics, you know. 
and uh, in some cases an abscess may cause serious complications like it can spread the infection to the brain or the spinal cord you know it can cause the blood poisoning or sepsis you know or uh, maybe it can cause endocarditis which is an infection of the inner lining of the heart you know and the development of the new abscesses you know and uh, tissue death in the area of the abscess such as gangrene etc you know may be acute bone infections uh, which is known as osteomyelitis you know so in that case these are the serious complications okay and uh, uh, to treat uh, sometimes you can you are you are able to treat at home with uh, like uh, apply the heat to the abscess it can help to shrink and drain you know and the most painful way uh, uh, like uh, Uh, if they are more painful you know then you should consult your doctor and the other thing is like drainage you know like uh, uh, you should see your doctor if the abscess is uh, a big and and doesn't heal using the home methods you know and in that case your uh, uh, doctor may want to drain it you know and to drain the abscess the doctor may apply like numbing medication you know and uh, will then cut the abscess to open it to allow the fluid to come out of it you know and after the abscess drains the doctor will uh, pack the wound with the surgical material you know and uh, this helps to heal and prevent the abscess from recurring you know okay and uh, after the procedure is over your doctor will likely prescribe the antibiotics to prevent the wound becoming infected again you know and uh, uh, the antibiotics can also be used to treat the uh abscesses your doctor may prescribe the antibiotics such as doxycycline you know, and, and like uh, uh dicloxacin you know and maybe uh cefalexin you know uh, if you have uh, like abscesses on the face or uh, more than one abscesses or uh, if your uh, immune system is compromised like you are, or have the hiv etc you know or maybe going through any cancer treatments or uh, chemotherapy etc you know or maybe organ transplant you know and after the treatment the abscess should not return and you may uh, not always be able to prevent the skin abscesses but a good hygiene uh, can help you to prevent these uh, kind of the abscesses Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more information. And to subscribe this channel, you can click the link in the description area, which is a red subscribe button. Thank you and goodbye.